For the past month, we've been traveling all around this beautiful country, Georgia, and even near East Armenia with our friend and then with my mom. But I've only filmed a tiny portion of it uh, that I showed in the last video and now in this one. I felt like my battery is dead, although we've been traveling and usually I enjoy it. Traveling makes me happy, excited and gives me energy. Usually I'm ready to go anywhere, any time of the day, any day. Just get the full guessing and I'm good to go. And I usually enjoy filming, taking photos and having friends over is something that I love, but I guess not all at the same time. <laughs> we came to the hot Batumi city, got into our Airbnb right away, fooled around, got an exercise and went to hang out around the city. We wanted to show Batumi to our friend and say hi to the sea just for a moment and to go to another place the next day. Driving was about 5-6 hours and we are quite used to drive long distances with children so this road seemed fine to them. It was crazy hot there but we could survive thanks for a conditioner in the car and the evening outside. <laughs> we went to the house of Anjera and Hachipuri, that's how the cafe was called, to eat that exact Hachipuri. It's a popular and famous Georgian meal. <laughs> It looks like a little boat made of dough filled with cottage cheese and other cheese inside and almost a raw egg sitting there taking a hot bath and you can add butter there for creaminess, tear up a side and use it to mix things in the middle. They serve it super hot so the butter melts right away and the egg mixes with the cheese and becomes kind of cooked and then you eat this piece with the mixture stick to it. So it's usually very tasty but portions are crazy big, well you saw them. I like to film, but I don't like when someone films me. I like to be behind the camera, to see through the lens with my perspective, the way I see things. And that's why I love to film these little details around the city. But since I can't really film myself by myself at the street, I'll just throw some selfie shots here and there so you won't forget how I look. We've walked around the city center of Batumi, you can see it's very beautiful. I've heard the person saying that it looks like Los Angeles, has some Los Angeles vibes. And although I've never been to Los Angeles, I guess that can be probably because of palm trees and fancy cars driving around. I find an old city center here fascinating, but what's interesting here is that they get inspiration from Dubai and are building these modern glass skyscrapers everywhere around the city which is funny enough, I forgot to even film <laughs> and um, this city is becoming a mix of modern high-tech and luxury and at the same time old, cozy, small, ornate environment which is a very interesting mix So, as I said, my low social battery, or not even social, but just the inner battery, 
I felt like I can just lay down on the bed the whole day and not even move. <laughs> I guess having things going on all together at the same time is just too much for me. <laughs> I'm happy that we are back into the routine life. I can sit at home quietly and work on my videos. I'm currently trying to figure out what exactly I love about filming and what I don't like because sometimes I just don't want to film anything or edit or upload and I just want to go through my feelings properly and understand the where does this come from. What am I actually passionate about? Which things that I do go smoothly and are enjoyable to me? Not everything we're doing, of course, will be easy and it's okay, it's life. But I'm sure that at least long term, it's better to do something that you actually care about and that you like. The next day started pretty hot. Uh, we went to the giant park they have there, not far from Batumi and see there are some skyscrapers far away in Batumi you can see them so I wasn't lying there are skyscrapers And honestly, this place looks like a jungle to me. I've never been to jungle, but that's exactly what I expect to see if I ever come to jungle. <laughs> there are so many trees I've never seen in my life. I grew up in the place with an absolutely different flora and we had no trees like that. But we had some good time there in this park. Agatha was quite bored since there are no fun activities for children. But she had to walk around, pick the leaves and just talk with us. Just walk around. I think it wasn't so bad for her. And we loved that place. I'm very glad I finally edited this video. I filmed it the next day after the previous one because it was a non-stop trip. Uh, we were going somewhere every day, but I was procrastinating to edit it for like forever. <laughs> I just didn't want to touch my computer at all. After taking time to rest and finally getting back into simple days, I feel like I found such a joy in editing it. It just had to take some time for me to finally settle down, to enjoy it. I was looking into the footage, loving different views I filmed and remembering how much I enjoyed the whole process of filming and editing when I can do it creatively and with no rush. We also moved to another apartment about a week ago and it was quite a process, I would tell you. We've been living in the last apartment only for the summer while looking after our friend's cat and waiting for them to come back from the USA. And they came back at the beginning of September, so we had to pack and find a new place while traveling around and hosting at the same time. It was all kind of happening all together and I guess no wonder why I felt like a dead fish. <laughs> I'll show you our new place in the next video and you definitely don't expect to see what you'll see. But I like our place now. It's super simple but has everything we need and I really feel at home there.
Хорошее дерево. Да. Погладим его. After the park we went for the next big road for 7 more hours to go to the stunning Caucasus mountains in Svaneti region here. This place is just incredible. I know that a part of this place, one of the villages, is uh, in UNESCO heritage because of how just old <laughs> it is and how beautiful the views are around. This place is very popular among tourists but since it's hard to get there it's not crowded at all we've been there for several days and there weren't many people around we wanted to fill up the tank on our way but it looked like the gas station was kind of robbed <laughs> before we came so no gas for us there my friend loves to take photos and since i was sitting with kids at the back my husband had to practice his photography skills on the way and he did quite a good job i would tell you Waking up in the mountains was like magic, guys. After loud, hot and humid Batumi, this place was so peaceful. The morning was a bit chill and quiet and birds were singing. Adeline was crawling around us trying to wake us up and the air was so fresh. I wanted to just stand there and breathe and in this place, I finally turned off my phone and put it away for the rest of our trip. <laughs> 